I have another box of the blue form of Mecunorina torquata ugandensis from Africa. I want to check whether there are already larvae in here in this box. A mango seed. This is very nice. So if they if they fall on the back, the, the beetles can uh, crash into this uh, seed and turn over. Whoa, here. L2 larvae and L1, L1 larvae. I put it in a separate box. I have from the last box, I keep them separate because it's kind of two strains from two different pairs so that there's not too much inbreeding. I try to keep the, the, the adult separate so that I know that I have to breed from these two strains, not within the strains, to form new pairs for the breeding. Three, four, uh, some here. More here. Now there are already more than ten. From one female was in here. Also keep one female in the breeding box, not two or three. It will not result in more in more uh, larvae if you put more females into a breeding box. Uh, in contrary, I experienced that if you put more females in a breeding box, there are less larvae to find there because of the disturbance probably they make in the box and they dig through the whole substrate and sometimes they forget where they lay their eggs. So if you have one female that's nice you can see there are a lot of larvae to find here I put them in, in this new box you can have a look here it's the same thing I made here on the bottom of the breeding box is about one centimeter of clay on the clay there's about five centimeter of black soil that I press very hard and then there is normal flake soil substrate with rotten leaves from beech and oak and that is very good for the larvae uh, to come out to hatch from the egg and also to develop now they are from 1 L1 to L2 I put them also in a 65 liter box and there they can stay until they are until they are adults and you should not put more than 20 larvae in a 65 liter box if you do that um, they can live there they can feed there you don't have to change the substrate anymore if it's uh, wet enough uh, then you just can leave them there until they pupate and they come out as beautiful adults if you or lucky this is a it was a pair both of them were, were blue blue and blue it was from the 12th of January for uh, this year I put them in now we have practically three to three months later they are already this big so it's an easy beetle uh, for a breeding project at home but of course you have to have the, the right uh, to start the whole process. Thanks for watching.